guys welcome back okay so today I decided to go ahead and do a video talking about palettes that I have in my collection that I think say fall that kind of get you ready for the whole fall vibe and fall feel you know as soon as September hits everybody's like oh where's the pumpkin latte <laughs> you know where's my sweaters where's my warm eyeshadows so you know of course you guys know me I wear any color any time of the year I don't really feel confined by seasons but you know I seen a few of these videos going around and it's like yeah it is that time of year to pull out those fall palettes and start playing around with some warmer just more cozy earthy colors so I just kind of perused through my collection of course just to kind of see okay what palettes do I think of when fall time comes around now listen y'all gonna have to excuse my nails because i know they don't say fall they don't match my fall get up here but it's like 100 degrees in cali right now so <laughs> it's like doing this video is kind of strange right now because it's hot it's still summer weather and you know it is what it is so i have summer nails on but we're gonna talk about these fall palettes okay now I did not pick 10. I know I saw a few people doing 10, like Amy and Karen. I believe they did a collab doing 10. I just picked some. I think I have a couple more than 10 because it's just palettes that I really want to show you guys. So let me stop yapping and start showing palettes. Okay. Now, this first one here is a more affordable brand. This one is ColourPop, and this is the Good Sport palette. Okay. Now, the packaging alone is really, really pretty, gorgeous. Kind of says fall to me, but I love animal prints, as you can see. And this one looks like this on the inside, like you haven't seen it a million times. But this palette says fall to me, of course, because of the beautiful, deep burgundy shades in here. There are a couple of pops of like pretty purple fuchsia type shades. There's also some pretty pops of green that you can use, throw on your lid, and this really deep kind of like muddy green <laughs> shade that they have in here to help you to deepen up those fall time looks. But yeah, I definitely think that this palette says fall is perfect to pull out if you wanna create some of those kind of warmer, earthy type looks, so. I really like this palette. Next up is a palette that's actually a bit newer to my collection, okay? I've had the ColourPop one for a while, but this one I've only had for a few months. This is the latest Tammy and Revolution collab palette, okay? And this one is her Tropical Twilight. But if you are familiar with this palette, then you know that there are some really gorgeous, warm fall type shades in here. You can see the beautiful like browns. Of course, she has a nice variety of cool and warm tones. She also has, you know, the beautiful orangey yellow tones in here, the pops of fuchsia, also the greens that you look for, you know, when you're looking to do a fall type uh, eye look. What I do like about this palette is that you do have those little pops of color if your personality is like mine and you might want to do a fall look but add a little pop of blue here or something to kind of jazz it up a bit. You have that option in this palette. I really, really like this palette for fall and I could definitely see myself using this more during this time of the year. Now the next palette is actually very, very new to my collection. So new that I haven't used it yet. And this is this Glam Light Pizza palette. If you guys watched uh, my last haul, you would know that I picked this up recently. And although, you know, it's kind of a cheesy theme, <laughs> no pun intended, <laughs> but you know, a pizza palette. The shadows in here, I think are very, very, grown and not cheesy okay i really really like this color scheme if you love green eyeshadow and green palettes i think you'd probably really like this for fall it does have a black in here so you can definitely go deep and smoky the brown that you need some beautiful beautiful shades of green pops of gold let me give you a closer look but yeah it's like the brown in here is kind of like that 
kind of brown burgundy-ish type brown you know that gives you that nice fall feel and just everything else I know I'm gonna be saying like burgundy and green and stuff a lot because that's what I think of when I think of fall burgundies purples greens golds so I really like this palette for fall and I cannot wait to try it out now this next palette is on a bit more of an expensive spectrum this is a viseart palette and lord knows they are expensive as i don't know what okay this palette was actually a gift from my girl dj oh i love this palette i was drooling over this palette for years and years and years <laughs> she finally was like girl let me hook you up and she sent it to me oh this palette is so gorgeous let me open it up this palette screams fall to me i mean it just does although there are some beautiful vibrant rich colors in here that you could definitely wear in spring and summer it says fall to me and the reason why i say that is just because the colors are so deep they're not those like super bright easter type shades they're nice and warm and rich and it just oh just looking at this palette right now makes me want to use it because the colors are so rich, so pigmented, so deep. I really, really like this palette. I enjoy, I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy the Viseart formula, but I find that I actually really, really do. It's a very nice formula in my opinion. Beautiful, beautiful fall type palette. Next here, another pricey palette. Okay, y'all don't kill me, but yeah, this is another pricey palette. Not one of her priciest but it is pricey this is the natasha denona metropolis palette and i know um alter ego did a dupe for this palette and from looking at the videos it is a very very good dupe okay so if you like this palette and you are looking for something you know less expensive to buy definitely check out the alter ego one because it gets rave reviews i almost bought it <laughs> because the reviews were so good but I'm like, girl, unless you're going to do a video comparing it, do not buy it because you already have the original. <clears throat> so, yeah, this palette says fall to me. Once again, it has the deep, rich shades to play with. You know, you can create those easy looks, one shade, two shade, blend it out. You know, she has that formula in here that's kind of like the cream to powder it's a little bit tricky to work with if you're not familiar with them or if you're not comfortable with them. But for me, I take one of those, blow it out on my lid, pop on a liner and go on about my business. Okay, but the colors in here, I love. I mean, these green, oh my gosh, this green right here, this gold, these dark shades in here. It's like they're so dark in the pan, but when you actually apply them, they actually don't look as dark to me as they do in the pan. Plus, you still got your beautiful bright pops of blue. If you do want to add your color, this beautiful red here. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. It reminds me of like the red shade from the Pat McGrath. What is it? The Bronze Seduction palette or something like that. Beautiful, beautiful red shade for your lid. The golds in here, absolutely gorgeous. So yeah. This palette definitely should be pulled out during the fall because it screams fall to me. Next, I have a palette that I actually never touch until fall. Now, when she came out with this, it was like perfect timing right around that time frame of using these colors. And this is the only palette that she's come out with so far. Uh, <laughs> I don't know with all the drama and stuff if she'll be coming out with another one anytime soon. But this is the Tati Beauty palette. Now, volume one, everyone, you know, is familiar with the shades in this palette. Of course, you know, it has your warm burgundy shades, your beautiful kind of like pumpkin-y orange type shades. You have your browns, you even have your black. And the thing that is really fun about this palette is there's a lot of different textures. You know, she put glitters in there because she loves glitter. I know a lot of people hate glitter. I don't hate it, I don't really care. But she put beautiful glitters in there. They actually look amazing on the lids. She put in the, what is it called? The sequin shades. So the ones that have like, it's kind of like matte, but has a little bit of sparkle to it. You know, if you like that type of thing. 
then she has the regular mattes you know and shimmers and stuff but i really really like the fact that she actually added all the different textures in this palette and the reason being is because you know it can cater to a lot of different personality types you know maybe you just like mattes okay well you just like mattes then just use the bottom row and you still have your beautiful warm uh fall type earthy colors you can do a beautiful bold red look a beautiful bold orange look a really smoky smoky just like black and gray type look or you can do everyday looks with the brown and the orange column so much variety for such a palette that looks like it has no variety if you know what i mean so this is definitely a great palette to pull out for fall so if you have it pull it out girl and start playing with it okay next i have a palette from one of my absolute favorite favorite brands okay every palette she comes out with i want it because her pigmentation and quality is just unmatched i mean it is so bomb i feel like once you've used um a plain and makeup by yolando palette it's kind of hard to to go back because her pigmentation and color stories are just out of this world so this one is the jam rock no limitations eyeshadow palette and i think out of all her palettes this one is my favorite so far it is okay look at this color story now somebody else might look at this and be like mm, that's not really fall there's a lot of color in there honey this is fall to me okay <laughs> these warm deep rich shades over here look at this look at that green look at these browns look at that beautiful deep just ugh. What is it, magenta? It's just, it's gorgeous. This beautiful purple shade here. Then you have this beautiful little quad of like pumpkin-y, warmth, mustardy yellow, and honey, these shimmers, okay? Oh. I'm, I said I wasn't gonna swatch in this video, so I'm not gonna swatch it, but these shimmers, look. Look at that. Look at these greens, this blue, this green up here. Oh my gosh so amazing this palette is perfect for doing beautiful colorful looks one shade looks a shade monochromatic looks where you do i did one where i did this in my in my crease and blew it out and i put this on my lid one of the prettiest looks i have ever done just with two shades i love it so I won't go on and on and on about playing and makeup by Yolando, but if you've never tried her palettes and you love color and pigmentation, please try one, honey, because they are amazing. Ooh, I didn't realize I picked so many palettes, y'all, <laughs> but I got just a few more. Now, this is another one that I haven't used yet, but trust me, during this fall season, dying to try it out. The reviews that I've seen using this palette eye looks that i've seen are just so so pretty for it to be just such a monochromatic one shade one color one tone palette oh my gosh it creates the most beautiful warm deep burgundy type looks and this is the she's in party palette from melt cosmetics i love melt cosmetics period anyway <laughs> all of their other palettes because they just have a different type of feel to them you know their grunginess the greens the blues just all of their palettes are just so earthy and grungy and just like <laughs> if you know what i mean right i just love them and so this palette is no different when i first saw it i was like oh, okay it's a burgundy palette you have a range you know with your kind of like um what is it called like mauvey tones burgundy and mauvey tones but the eye looks have just been amazing and just looking at this palette right now it's gorgeous it says fall to me i mean look at it it's so so pretty my girl lily sent me this and i'm just like my friends are just too good to me okay too good because this palette is bomb it's so so pretty and i can't wait to use it now I couldn't do this video without mentioning a recent purchase in use palette <laughs> that definitely screams fall. And it is the latest Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. I like this palette a lot. If you saw my video, then you already know that. But this palette is really, really pretty. It might not look like much, but it's really pretty. I appreciate the fact that they added 
this last row of really pretty deeper shades and I think it's perfect for different skin tones. You know, like more fair might want to just use this one up here to deepen. You know, medium might want to use this to deepen. And then of course, you know, your darker skin girls like me will go for that purple just directly. Boom, let's go for the purple. So yeah, I really appreciate that last row. These other shades are gorgeous as well. I do like the beautiful shimmers they have in here, the green tones. It's a really, really pretty, nice fall toned palette. So if you're thinking about picking this up and you don't have the other two, you know, the gingerbread or the gingerbread spice, you might want to consider this one. I definitely think it is worth a purchase, you know, something that you will use for years and years to come. It's not like a crazy color story that I think you would get sick of and I think you could create a lot of different looks from this palette so I'm really glad that I picked it up and I plan on using it for falls to come next I have another palette that I haven't tried yet look y'all don't get mad at me but I'm sharing these palettes with y'all just in case you want to see them or maybe you're curious and thinking you want to purchase them but I have added some new palettes to my collection recently that I think are going to be perfect for fall. This one is from Mayali Beauty. And if you're familiar with them, you know that they are a brand new brand starting up. They used to be Blush Tribe. And I only had one palette from them when they were Blush Tribe. And I didn't really care for that palette too much. The one that I have, uh, which one is it? I think it's the... I had to pull it. It's this one, the the Munaza, I believe it's called, the Munaza palette. Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't really care for this palette that much. It's a really pretty, colorful palette, but I don't know why I didn't. But I decided to try their new brand out, you know, since they totally rebranded and everything. And so this is their palette, the Yasmine. I believe that's how you say it, Yasmin or Yasmin. But the packaging is absolutely gorgeous, really, really pretty. And when I opened it up, I was like, oh yeah, that's gonna be a beautiful fall palette for me. But the thing is, you can also use it for spring and summer because it has the bright pops of yellow in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous shimmers, but this top row to me screams fall. I love this beautiful deep purple down here. Now with the background they have on this packaging, it can be a little difficult to kind of wrap your brain around the color story because it's a little bit busy. But if you look down here, you have like these purple and pinky toned shimmers. You have this really deep beautiful purple here you have some more shimmers over here this green is gorgeous you have this grungy green beautiful yellow tones and then like i said gorgeous gorgeous warm pumpkin-y burgundy just goodness okay so yeah this is definitely going to be a fall palette for me it's absolutely gorgeous now i could not do a fall palette video without talking about a couple of my Juvia's Place palettes because Juvia's Place has so many palettes for so many different personality types or you know styles different you know if you like monochromatic stuff bright colorful stuff muted stuff she has a palette for everybody okay so I just picked out these two to talk about briefly the Tri palette you guys are familiar with this gorgeous green palette okay comes out every fall but the thing about this palette is you can use it year round because there are such beautiful bright pops of color in here super light green beautiful bold green then you have your deep richness down here you have your orange your brown your gold your inner corner pop which, which has like a little hint of green in it so this palette is very very versatile gorgeous I really really love it but for some reason it comes to mind when I think about okay it's time to start creating those fall looks for sure I also pulled out one of her newer palettes this one is the chocolates and you know it's part of her little mini palette series so this one of course you know says fall I I wouldn't wear this palette any other time but that's just because of my personality this is an amazing palette that people probably use for everyday type of looks you know but for me it wouldn't be an everyday palette just because I rarely wear this color scheme. But for fall, 
perfect for fall. I mean, look at these deep, deep, dark brown shades in here. And this one here, this is one of my favorite type of brown shades. It is so, so gorgeous on the lid. You have this lighter shade, these beautiful shimmers. This is a really, really nice palette to bring out for fall. Now this next palette is actually one of my favorite palettes as well. This brand has two of my favorite palettes in it, one of which being the Oceanic. So you know what brand it is. It's Ace Beauty or Ace Beauté. <laughs> and this palette, oh, this palette has my heart, okay? It really, really does. Every time I think about like fall, or kind of like rustic, grungy type eye looks, I think about this palette, okay? It is so, so gorgeous. Look at the colors in here, you guys. Tell me this does not say fall. It definitely does. I love the fuchsia, the red. It kind of says like a fun, bright fall. <laughs> you know what I mean? It has the green, the brown, but it also has this beautiful, beautiful pop, this light, gorgeous green here, these beautiful blues in here, and this shimmer, oh my goodness. But yeah, this beautiful bright red up here makes an absolute beautiful, just one shade look. You mix that with that beautiful fuchsia, gorgeous kind of blended, blown out look with this orange, oh, so bomb, okay. This palette is gorgeous. Don't sleep. Don't sleep on the Flare palette because I think if you are someone who likes to do a lot of kind of like earthy, grungy looks, you'll love this palette because it just, it does. It gives so many options, so much, so much versatility. It's really pretty. I only have two more, you guys. We're coming on the home stretch. Now this palette, the ABH Norvina Volume 3, okay? I call this a Scooby-Doo palette. For some reason, it reminds me of Scooby-Doo. <laughs> but this palette is perfect for fall, okay? If you have this palette, pull it out. Take a look at it, okay? Because you might think, oh, the colors are too bright. It has those pops of greens and blues and yada, yada, yada. But if you really take a close look at it, this palette says fall, okay? The purples, the oranges, the greens. There's some browns in there to use. The only thing that I really wish she would have done differently with this palette was just put in a couple of more deeper colors. You know, whether it was just like a really deep, deep, plummy purple, you know, something darker than this, or a really deep, dark green, that would have made this palette absolutely perfect for me for fall. But the way that it stands right now is still an absolutely gorgeous fall palette. Now, just taking a closer look, you know, you can see here that these shades do go, you know, they go a little bit dark, just not as dark as I would like. The greens are beautiful, the oranges are beautiful. This palette, I think, is perfect for someone who likes to use these type of shades, but doesn't necessarily wanna go so deep or go so dark, like, you know, the Vizzy Art. You know, cause the Vizzy Art goes a little bit deeper, a little bit darker, but you wanna use this, cause you know, you know, you don't like such heavy looks on your eyes. So, I really like this palette for fall. I think it's perfect for this time of year. Now this last palette, you guys, is definitely on the more affordable side. And it's a palette that I absolutely fell in love with when it first came out and I've loved it ever since. I haven't used it in quite a while, but every time I open this palette, I'm like, I need to use this palette more because it's gorgeous. This is my Morphe 35M, which is my Boss Mood palette. Love, love, love the color scheme that they did for this palette. The greens, I mean, you have this whole beautiful section of greens to play with. Beautiful purples, beautiful kind of like corally orangey shades. You have your reds of black. I mean, this palette is very well rounded. I think that the shimmer shades that they chose, I'm gonna hold it at an angle so you don't get too much of the ring light but the shimmer shades that they chose to include in this palette are perfect matchups with the other shades that they have in here. It's just so, so gorgeous. I mean, every look that I've created with this, the, whether it's a green look, a purple look, a corally look, it's just, it's so pretty. It comes out so pretty and 
you know, I think when they created these palettes, I don't know, I like the formula a lot. I like it a lot. I don't know if they did anything different with these or what. I don't hate Morphe's formula in general, but some of their palettes that I've used have been trash. So I really like <laughs> this formula that they used for these palettes. And so this is definitely a palette that I would think of to use during the fall season. It's so, so pretty. So that's it, you guys. Those are all of the palettes that I wanted to share with you guys from my collection that I think of when fall time rolls around and I start thinking about doing more warm, earthy, you know, just grungy type eyeshadow looks. <laughs> These are the palettes that I'm gonna go to, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed going down this little lane of fall palettes with me. If you did, go ahead and hit the like. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to your girl, okay? I would love for you to become a part of my family here on YouTube and just look out for more of my videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!